by sigma is simply equal to the square root of this. So it's the sum of the f's times the x minus the mu squared divided by the sum of the f's, and it's the square root of that. So irrespective of which one you're going for, you're going to have to calculate in both cases this particular numerator. Okay. So before we can calculate the numerator, we need to calculate the mean values, the respective mean values. And we know that the mean, the mean irrespective of whether it's the population mean or the sample mean, is simply equal to the sum of the frequencies times the x is divided by the sum of the frequencies. Now we already know the sum of the frequencies. There's the frequency column, typically given. Uh, so that's sigma f. So we need to calculate sigma fx. We need an fx column. We don't have one here, but we have the f and the x column, so we can create an fx column, which is simply the product of these two numbers. So 3 times 1 gives me 3, 5 times 2 gives me 10, 4 times 3 gives me 12, 6 times 4 gives me 24, 2 times 5 gives me 10, 3 times 6 gives me gives me 18. Uh, and if I sum these numbers up, if I'm not mistaken, I think we, uh, we should get 77. So this value here now is the sum of the fx's so irrespective of whether it's a population whether it's population if it's a discrete frequency distribution for a population or whether it's a discrete frequency distribution for a sample the mean value is exactly the same so in this case it's going to be 77 divided by 23 and when we do that on our calculator we do it on our calculator so we have 77 divided by 23 it gives us a value of about 3.3 five so 3.35 okay uh, i'm actually just going to make this a little bit easier and what i'm going to do is i'm just actually going to round this to three so this is approximately equal to three just to keep this we could carry the decimals around but it's just that it gets a bit more messy yeah and if you want to be more accurate it would carry more decimals with you through the calculation so now we know the mean value the mean is three what we need to calculate is if, it, if this is from a sample perspective we need to calculate this new, we know the denominator, it's so the sum of the f's, which is 23 minus one. So that's 22 here, it's 22 here. It'll be 23 here and 23 here, okay? But if we, to calculate the numerator, we have to do what's inside the brackets for. So x minus x bar. So we're gonna take the x's and take away x bar. So here's all the x's, and we've just assumed that x bar is equal to three. So it's gonna be one minus three gives me minus two. 2 minus 3 gives me minus 1. 3 minus 3 gives me 0. 4 minus 3 gives me 1. 2, 3. And they're my values. Okay. But we need the square. We need the square of those values. So we need to square those values. So uh, minus 2 squared gives me 4. Minus 1 squared gives me 1. 0 squared gives me 0. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. And 3 squared is 9. So we've just calculated this piece here. Okay, so now we need to multiply each one of them by f. So we're going to take the frequency columns values and multiply them by the x minus the x bar squared values. So the first one is 3 times 4 gives me 12. 5 times 1 gives me 5. 4 times 0 is 0. 6 times 1 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. And 3 times 9 gives us 20, 27. So let's just sum these up. What do we get? We get seven and eight is <coughs> excuse me, seven and eight is fifteen, and six is twenty-one, and five is twenty-six, and two is twenty-eight. So put down the eight, carry the two. Two plus two is four, plus one gives us five. So we get fifty-eight here. This value is the sum of this column. So this is the sum of the frequencies times the x minus the x bar squared values. So now we can calculate the variance. Okay, so let me just maybe just move this across here. So once again, let's just do the sample variance really quickly. Okay, so now we have, let's say, the sample variance. The sample variance. Okay, well, the sample variance uh, s squared is the sum of the frequencies times the x minus the x bar squared divided by the sum of the frequencies minus one. So S squared is equal to, well, we've just calculated what the sum of the frequencies times the X minus X bar squared values are. It's 58, which needs to be divided by the sum of the Fs, which is 23 minus 1. So it's 58 divided by 22, which goes in about two point something times. So what's that? That's 58 divided by 22 gives a value of 